Today we're going to review doing the maintenance kit, replacing the maintenance kit on the M575 from Hewlett Packard. Uh, this is a relatively in-depth maintenance kit to replace. It involves a pickup roller down here, a transfer roller here, and a fusing assembly, uh, and also doing a reset from the main menu. So the first thing you want to do is remove the paper tray. This is going to come out, stop. You're going to lift it at a slight angle, and it'll pull out the rest of the way, much like a kitchen cabinet. On the right-hand side, you want to open up the main drawer. And inside here, if you lift this piece up, you'll see two little green tabs here. You can lift these up slightly, and this will, it's a little slightly spring-loaded. It'll kind of pop towards, forward towards you. You can drop this down then. Uh, this is going to give you access from the front and the side. The main pickup roller's in there that's going to be replaced. So inside here, there's a little blue latch, which you can pull straight down. From there, this roller is going to come out by pulling it back at an angle towards the front of the machine and then dropping it down. This roller will then lift out and you can pull the roller out and then replace it with the new one. The reversal of replacing the roller is going to be inserting this side first which is towards the front of the printer. So you're going to go in. What you're going to want to do is start with about a 45 degree angle. You're going to want to insert this pickup roller. You can see now that it's in the shaft on the, on the front side. It's spring loaded now. You want to push this in until it stops and then lift up and then let go and it'll couple in to the back side of the machine. You then want to reclip your blue piece back in place. This locks it in place so it can't fall out. The next thing you're going to want to do is pull your transfer kit back down. And if you want to get a better angle at it, you can press this little blue latch here. This will drop it down all the way and you can replace the transfer roller. So the transfer roller you want to grab from the side here, it's going to lift up. Same thing, you want to lift up, stop once it, you'll feel some tension on it, but it stop at about a 45 degree angle, and it'll pop up the rest of the way. The replacement is just a reversal process. It's going to go down inside here. There's little uh, knobs on here too, just so you see there's a tip there and a tip there, and these need to go in these holes here and here, the blue one being on the white piece. So the easiest thing to do is to go straight down with these then, and I kind of hold my thumb like that to keep them straight in the process. And you just want to push it in until it clicks and stays in place. The next thing you want to do is replace the fuser assembly. And that can be done by grabbing these two handles here, each with a blue sticker on it. You put your thumb on the outside, four fingers in the holes here, and it's like a, like a trigger. So you squeeze these, and that'll release the fuser, and then pull straight back. You install the new fuser in the reverse process, just slide it in until it clicks. And then you're good to close up the right-hand side access door. You can put your paper tray back in, which that goes in, starting at a slight angle, and then dropping it down and sliding it in all the way, much like a, a cabinet drawer would do. The final thing you want to do is reset the maintenance kit life by going to the main screen of the machine, touching administration, scrolling down to manage supplies, choosing reset supplies, choosing new fuser kit, choosing yes, and then save. And that is how you do a maintenance kit on an M575.